after searching for days in the Coral Sea and the waters east of the Solomon Island chain. Catalinas from Santa Cruz finally spotted not one, but two large enemy task forces, one with a Shokaku-class carrier and the other with a Yamato-class battleship. The news was a shock to Allied commanders who did not expect the Japanese to commit this number of high-value assets to the campaign, especially the battleship. Over 100 miles southwest of the Japanese positions, Task Force 1 was immediately recalled from Rennell Island and ordered to steam due east at full speed to intercept a possible landing at Santa Cruz. Hello, welcome back to War on the Sea. It is day seven of this operation, August 12th, 1942. The USS Wasp is on its way to grid D7 to rendezvous with Task Force One. And we think that it's a good, there's a good chance that the Japanese might be after the Santa Cruz Islands. That's what we're going there to defend. We think, we'll see, we did spot two Japanese task forces in this area, both with carriers. Now, the one with the light carrier had the battleship in it. It's still formidable, both of them, so I don't know how this is going to go. We will see. Uh, we did sink a light cruiser from this task force, uh, and we there's, there's, I think, three ships here. Um, and they're all destroyers, destroyer escorts. I'm thinking about... I, these are the lightnings that came back from this strike. So these lightnings here have full ammo. I'm thinking about going after these ships here with them. The Beauforts are on the way back. Lightnings are too, but they still have 287 nautical miles of endurance. I think what I'm going to do is just keep them near this task force and then launch something from here. If I have, like the Mitchells maybe... Get them out there first in the Air Cobras, maybe? Let's try the Mitchells. We'll do uh, six 500 uh, semi-armor person bombs. I think we'll do that. Launch them and get them out here. I think this is only a couple hundred. Yeah, a little less than 200 nautical miles. And then we're also going to launch Oh, I have to wait just a little bit to do this, so we'll wait. Okay, now the Air Cobra's eight, you think, maybe? Yeah, I think. Let's launch them all. There's three ships here. Why don't we try and just get them out? The Air Cobra's should have... I think it has a cannon in its nose, too. Although I'm not... Can we... I'm kind of curious... Yeah, it has a 37 millimeter cannon plus six machine guns. So, yeah, let's launch them. They're barely, I think they have, uh, what is it, 200 nautical miles, and this is just under. So, maybe we can get there. We'll see. Let's go ahead and launch them and send them out. And I think they were headed in the northeast direction, so we'll track this way. I think that's it. Um, we don't have much else. They're going. They're headed back. The Catalina. We still got. Oh, it's eight nautical miles endurance. We'll just let it finish out its its search pattern, then head home. What I might do. I want to soften them up before I bring in the lightnings. So we'll wait. We'll just have them shadow the task force until we can get these attack aircraft up there. Oh, and by the way, I was thinking about this here. Milne Bay, I, I'm pretty sure the Japanese brought in a, a, a submarine and landed troops here with a submarine. That's, I think that's the only way they could have done that. So let's do a little... Let's just move the uh, clock forward and see what happens. Okay, the Air Cobras are headed back. They didn't even get close. I thought uh, maybe they could get there, but uh, nope. Nope. A little too far, 
from them. The Mitchells are still on their way. But I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and attack with the lightnings I have. I have 74 nautical miles of range. We're going to go ahead and uh, see if we can do what we did to these others. And I, I'm, I think this, is, this group has some... I don't think I use them for strafing, so let's let's put them all in a line ahead, I think. And then we'll go for probably this one first, since I think these are destroyer escorts. Pretty sure, but let's make that the target, and let's tell them to attack and see how well this goes. Nice. That's what we want. Keep them at high speed, I think. I know we should go probably slower when they're strafing, but they have a lot of anti-aircraft, so we're going to stay at high speed. And then we're going to tell them to attack again. Well, all of them, actually. Nice. Let's take a... Oh, no, they shot down one of my... Yep, they shot one of them down. That's fine. Let's look at the report real quick. Heavy, moderate. Let's see if we can sink this thing. Very, very good. Alright, attack again. We got another one down. Let's check the report. And another one. Critical, moderate. I think she might go down. We'll have this lightning head home. Alright, just in time for the B-25s. Let's maneuver them, vector them over here to the proper location, and we'll see if we can commence an attack here. Let's go tactical. I only have two. So let's get them in. Line ahead, I think. Ooh, I'm going to bring them out over here. We're going to turn, come out here, and come in to, from the side. Okay, we're at 3,200 feet. All right, I'm going to tell them to attack. And we'll see if we can get a hit on that destroyer. All right, bombs away. We'll see.
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Total miss on everything. Twelve bombs missed. Well, let's see if we have anything else over here at Port Moresby, but I think I've launched pretty much everything. So we'll have to wait till I come back, rearm. Maybe I can go out there at the Beauforts, we'll see. Now we've caught up to them again. I, I kept the Mitchells over here to keep track of them, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to, I can't launch for two hours. Uh, and then it'll be too late. So we might as well just tell them to return to base and try again tomorrow, the next day. I just got a notification that Port Moresby can launch aircraft now. So let's give this a shot again. We have some lightnings we could send. Let's send them all. All of them. No bombs. Done. We'll navigate. I think they were right about here. Let's see if we can find them again. And then can we launch something else? Probably going to make me wait for a little. Oh, maybe not. Let's do the forts. Torpedoes. Those torpedoes were good last time. So... Yeah, let's do that. Torpedoes. And then get them up here, too. See if we can find them. Couldn't find them, so we're going to have everyone return to base. Must have slipped away under the cover of the growing darkness. Okay, we'll just be waiting for the next day, I guess. Okay, Task Force 1 and the Wasp have rendezvoused. So let's have them merge together. There we go. And now they're all one task force, which would help both of them. We can protect the Wasp now. And uh, I guess we'll wait for operations until uh, tomorrow. I think the Wasp is going to stay. Task Force 1 is going to stay right here. Maybe move a little bit closer to the Santa Cruz Islands. Just a little bit. Uh, and then in the morning we'll get planes up and see if we can f spot any anything, any of the task force over there. Hopefully, maybe one of the larger ones. We'll see. Okay, it's 5.15 a.m. and reconnaissance flights are up. We have Sunderland's again down here. Catalina's, Catalina's, Catalina's. I didn't see anything from New Hebrides. I think I have plenty of coverage. These three again are going in this area. The Catalinas from Rental Island are concentrating on the Solomons. These Catalinas are concentrating on the Solomon Sea. And the Sunderlands are concentrating on this area right here of the Coral Sea. So we'll monitor this and see how it goes. Uh, these uh, task forces are on their way back to Rental Island. Task Force 1 is sitting here just uh, kind of loitering off the Santa Cruz Islands. And this task force is sitting here. I'm waiting because it's going to be about 14 hours. So I want to arrive around midnight, so, which means I want to leave around noon. So we're waiting. We're going to wait about six hours here and then make our way to Port Moresby. So I have a float plane just hanging out over here. Let's send up some P-40s to take it down. A couple of them probably should be enough. Where are you going? Where are you going? You can't you can't escape, you cannot leave. Can't seem to find them, so we'll retreat and keep looking in this area. They're, they were right here, and I know it's raining, 
but we'll keep looking. They gotta be here somewhere. It appears they slipped away, so we'll just return to base. And maybe next time. So we just got notification that enemy troops have been defeated at Milne Bay. Which, indeed, they have. So, good work, men. I knew it was just an advanced force. Looked like probably 50 men, if that, that landed. Um, I'm, the Catalinas are... I'm having them return to Rental Island. I think they're... Yeah, well, they still have 300 miles. So maybe we'll just continue making our way back as we search... But the ones in uh, Milne Bay, I'm sorry, are going to land and then take off again and keep searching this area. Okay, the float plane is back. Let's give this another try. Hopefully we don't lose it in the rain this time. Get over here and let's check the weather. It looks clear, actually, so maybe we'll get it this time. Okay, they were right on top of it. Yeah, it's nice and clear. We should be able to see it. We'll let them just go ahead and attack on their own. It's right over here. Done. Dun dun. Okay, back to return to base. Okay, we have more aircraft up from Rental Island. I launched all the Mariners. These, these are their patterns. Uh, well, this one here, this is a Catalina. We're just going to patrol this area. This Mariner's coming up this way. This Mariner here. This mariner here, and then we have more cattle. No, more mariners from over here coming up uh, this way. Okay, look what just popped up. We have. Oh, it says it's one ship. Just one ship headed towards Port Moresby. We don't know if that's actually one ship. Let's send. Let's send some air cobras up. Let's send four of them with 500 pound bombs. And get them over here and uh, see what's there. If we need more air units there, we'll send them. Okay. Let's get in there. See what we have. It is how many ships? It is indeed one ship. Oh, it's a it's a sub. Damn it. Let's uh target it and tell them to attack. I don't know if they're gonna here, let's get our speed up before it before it uh well we'll there. Before it uh dives and it will be diving soon. I don't know. We'll see if we can get a, some bombs on it. I think they've already dropped bombs. But we're going to tell them to turn around and attack again quickly before it can sink before it can sink before it can uh, oh it's already going down that's too bad that's too bad did we get any damage no oh, we got minor damage on it oh maybe we got some more damage on it no we didn't can we attack again Nah. All right. 
Minor damage on this side. They're probably bringing troops to Port Moresby uh, just to, just for the lols. <laughs> Let's return to base. And we have another sighting up here. Don't know what it is. It says three ships. Let's send... It's a little late, though. It's almost five o'clock. Let's go ahead and... What could reach there pretty quickly? I don't know if the Mitchells would really help. The Beauforts are probably out of range. How far is this? It's only 200 miles. The Beauforts can probably make it. I'm going to send the lightnings up in two groups. Of three. And I think I have to wait a little bit to launch some more. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the Catalina. Let's just ignore New air, three more lightnings, similar piercing bombs. Let's get them over there too. And then, so if it is three ships, let's see what it is. Let's take a look real quick. That way we'll know. Okay, let's turn. It is three ships. Destroyer or destroyer escort, same, same. Yeah. All right, we will keep the Catalina in the area. How much? 620 miles of endurance left. We'll keep them here so we can keep an eye on this ship, on these ships. And also, let's go ahead and send up... Can we do one more? No, we got to wait. But I think we're going to send up some Beauforts, maybe? Yeah, let's send up all four of them with... Oh, torpedoes. Let's do the torpedoes. And have them get over here as well. Hopefully, we can find them and sink that. That'd be great to take care of that fleet. Okay, it's almost six o'clock. Let's get these lightnings. Let's go tactical. And oh, we're real close. I'm gonna pause. And we'll have this group. I guess go for the the third one here. Let's target that one and have them attack. And then these other lightnings, they will target the, the first one, but not yet. I want to move them over here first. Closing in. A number three. And if they miss with the bombs, we'll just drop down and strafe them. I have a feeling they've missed. I'd like to get a few hits. That'd be nice. No, of course not. That's too much to ask. Alright, these lightnings will hang out. Probably over here. Until these do their run, and then we'll maybe attack all at once. 
Closing on target. I put them in line ahead. Maybe that will help, we'll see. Drop now. That might that might actually do it. No, of course not. Nope. Should I wait for the Beauforts to arrive? Or should I just... go get them now? Let's have them target number three. Let's get these lightnings. Let's have them move towards the targets, form up, line ahead, and attack. This group will attack as well. All right, here we go. Nice. They got one of my planes. But, let's see. Heavy damage, minor flooding. Attack. Attack. Yeah, where are you going? Okay, let's have this one now target number two and attack. All right, they're all attacking two now. I think three. Let's look at the report real quick. Critical, moderate, it might sink. Mm. We'll see. They've, I've lost another lightning. Mm. Maybe I should... Nah, I've lost another one. I think what we'll do is probably leave... Yeah, we'll retreat. Okay, we'll go... I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit them or not. It's pretty late. But we'll definitely target... Let's take a look at uh, the report. Moderate... Well, oh, we did sink one, it looks like. Looks like we did. Yes, we did. Let's target two. And have them attack. If we can get some bombs, well, let's, uh, actually form up in line and then have them attack. Mm. Ah, one of them's down. Come on, drop those fish. No? <laughs> okay. We got him dropped. I think we're going to get a hit here. Probably. Oh, yeah. We're going to get a couple, I think. Oh, they might outrun it. Oh, they outrun them. Nope, we got one hit. But I think we lost all of our points. All of our planes.
Heavy damage, moderate flooding. Well, so much for that. All right, it's 4.40 in the morning. Transport 10 has already unloaded cargo at Rental Island. So is Transport 11. I'm sorry, Task Force 11. Task Force 7 has as well. And they're going to be making their way back to New Hebrides. But what this means is, Rental Island, I've already upgraded the airfield. It's now level 2. And I want to see... Let's do a little time compression here go to five o'clock I want to see what what I have here at Rental Island to work with so we now have some eh, well <laughs> some Mariners Sunderlands and Kingfishers not exactly what I need here but it'll help some the Kingfishers what kind of range they got 452 hmm I guess I'm going to need a level 3 airfield, but but we're going to definitely start our invasion plans now. We have 6,600 troops, some supply. That will probably be enough to start a landing on Guadalcanal. I'm going to leave Task Force 11 here to to do that, to go back and forth. Actually, I might need Task Force 2, uh, 10 as well for the initial landing. So let's bring them back up. And then we'll have them both go up at night task force. One of them, one transport task force will come back to New Hebrides to get more troops and supplies. The other one will stay here to keep bringing troops and supplies up. Task force 5 has dropped off their cargo as well. And this is what it looks like here. We still need more well, quite a bit more to upgrade this airfield. Um, I was really hoping I would get some lightnings and that kind of thing over here at Rental Island. But I did not. So we need to proceed with our invasion of Guadalcanal. That's what we're going to probably start next episode. And that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.